If I could marry a scent, it would be this one. Hello, Earthlings, and welcome back to my channel. So today, since it is the 1st of July, I thought I would do my June favorites. And how is June over? It literally feels like I was just taking my January exams. Like, anyways, I have a lot of favorites, so I'm just I'm just gonna get into it. I have an eye base, and then it's the Maybelline Color Tattoo Metals and Barely Branded. And it's just a nice beige color. Um, I've been using, I've had this for a while, but I kind of rediscovered it and I've been using it either underneath eyeshadows or as an eyeshadow on its own, and I just love it. Next thing I have is the Naked Basics palette by Urban Decay. And this is right up my alley because it has five matte colors and then kind of like a um, satin finish color. Um, but matte shades are right up my alley. Um, I'm not the hugest fan of super duper shimmery shades, but this just this does the trick for me. And I have an eyeliner, and it is the Maybelline Align Stiletto. This is in the color Blackest Black. I found out that they have a different color, but this is just like this is the best eyeliner I think I've ever tried. I find it so much easier to use than like. Um, pencil or even gel and I know that a lot of people like pencil and gel just because it's easier to use and liquid can be really messy but I personally really like it I mean yeah you can screw up a lot but it's just easier for me to use and I have an eyeshadow pencil stick thing it's the NYX jumbo eye jumbo eyeshadow pencil in milk and I use this as a brow bone highlight most of the time just because I can't use it as an eyeshadow base because it creases on me. I have super duper duper oily eyelids. Um, so it's unfortunate that I can't actually get much use out of this, but I like it as a brow bone highlight because it's matte and um, it's just really good. So then we have an eyebrow pencil. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Eye Pencil in Taupe. This is what I use to fill in my eyebrows every single day. Um, I went through a phase where I used the color Faint, I believe, from my Naked Basics palette. Yeah. I used this brown shade right here to fill in my eyebrows, but I kind of realized that that was way too dark, and it just didn't look good, so I've gone back to using this pencil, which I have used for over a year now, and it is the best eyebrow pencil ever. Um, so I definitely recommend it. It's like $2 from Walmart or wherever you can find wet and mild products. And to set my brows, I use the Great Lash Clear. It's by Maybelline. It's just a good eyebrow gel. I haven't tried it as an actual eye or uh, as an actual mascara yet, and I probably won't, but I don't know. Maybe one day when I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, I'll wear it. But two mascaras, both by Maybelline. The first is the Volume, or first is the Rocket. It just Everyone raves about this. This is like a cult favorite on YouTube. I've showed this in not my last video, but the one after, the one before that. Just a really good mascara. And then the Falsy is also a cult favorite. Just has a sort of curved wand, and they're both really good. I don't use them together because then that kind of clumps a little bit, but these two mascaras are just really good on their own. Now moving on to lip products, I have a lip balm that I have been using for a really long time and this brand is a brand that I have been using since I was like 8 or 9. It's the brand my parents use, my grandparents use, my great grandparents probably use, but it is the Blistex Lip Medex and this is the medicated lip balm in the blue container. It smells medicated, it smells like menthol but it moisturizes my lips so well. I feel like it's good for all year round because it's not too heavy for the summertime, but it's also not like too lip chap or chapstick-like for the winter time. Then staying on the topic of lip balm, but kind of transitioning into lipstick is the NYC Appalicious Lip Balm in the shade Pink Lady. This is just a gorgeous pink color and it's super duper moisturizing. The color is gorgeous. I'm not one to generally like these kinds of colors, like the whole pink nude. I tend to like darker colors like berries and plums and just colors that aren't really light. I don't know why, I just didn't think they looked good on me. I just don't think they look good on me. But um, 
this is definitely a product to be reckoned with. I think it's amazing, it's so moisturizing, and the color is gorgeous. Then finally, for lips, I have a color. It's a Revlon lipstick, and I really, really, really now want to get more Revlon lipsticks, but this is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in the color Black Cherry. I searched high and low and far and wide to find this lipstick because it's so beautiful. It may be a little bit too dark for some people, but it doesn't, it's a lot more scary in the tube than it is on your lips. Now moving on to face products. First, NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in the shade Sunny. This is just a really good bronzer. It's matte, it doesn't make you look cakey, it doesn't make you look muddy, it's not orange, it doesn't make you look like a disco ball, obviously since it's matte. And what's better, it's from the drugstore and it's like $3. Then I have two blushes. The first one is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Blissful. And I've had this for over a year, but recently I've been getting more into it. It's what I'm currently wearing on my cheeks right now. And I just think it's really, really good. Um, so it's a really pretty peachy pink color. Oh, it's a really pretty peachy pink color. And it's really natural, good for every day. I think next is the MAC Face Powder in Sunday Afternoon. This is a discontinued product. I think it came out with a collection a long time ago. I remember hearing about it on YouTube like a year and a half ago or something like that. But it just kind of has like the blush color here and the highlight on the like, edges. And it's so, so, so pretty. This might actually take the place of my favorite blush. And finally, for makeup favorites, we have the Benefit High Beam, which is just a pinky toned highlighter. And I think it's really pretty. I like to put it underneath my powder so that it kind of like, it's more of a subtle glow as opposed to like a hard, like on the face glow. Um, but it's really pretty. I've had this for so long that I... Now moving on to other beauty favorites. A body butter from the body shop, okay? I have never tried body butter from the body shop prior to this. And I have been missing out all of my life, but this is the body butter in the scent Passion Fruit. Yeah, yes, it's Passion Fruit. Um, it just looks like this. The scent is phenomenal, oh my goodness. This is on sale for $10 for their semi-annual sale, so I don't know if they're discontinuing the scent or not, but I hope not. These are just so moisturizing. Uh, my legs are really, really dry, and they always have been. I've always had problems with it. And I mean, the Garnier moisturizer really does a good job, but this is just, oh my god. Next, I have a foot cream, and I bought this last summer because at camp, you know, we're on our feet a lot of the day, so my, my feet were just so cracked. They were peeling, and they were gross, and they were so dry. So I bought this while I was on leave, and it is the Utterly Smooth Shea Butter Foot Cream. It just has a really nice, light scent. And it's just a white cream that you slather onto your feet. Um, I usually put socks on over top of it, and this just saved my feet. It's it's a great foot cream. And then finally for beauty favorites, I have a hand cream from the Face Shop. And the Face Shop is a Korean brand beauty store, but this is the this is the daily perfumed hand cream in the scent berry mix. And um, this is like I think it was four or six dollars, either one of the two. I don't know, but it smells really good and it's it's not like super duper moisturizing, but it makes my hands soft and I just like the scent of this to be honest. Just two random favorites. I have a book and a movie to mention. It is The Fault in Our Stars, and that is such an amazing, amazing book. Um, I don't have it with me here because my aunt is actually reading it. Or I also saw the movie and it was phenomenal. My god. Ansel Elgort can have my children. I would I would get pregnant just for him. Woo! God, Shailene Woodley. Frig, that girl was beautiful. I heard a lot of people say that the movie was like really different from the book and just it veered out a lot, but I didn't really notice that. Maybe it's because I hadn't read the book in a month or so, and I, I tend to forget things quickly, but I don't know. I thought the movie was pretty much right along with the book in my, I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb. It was a great movie and a great book. Another favorite has been this phone case. You saw it in my What's on my iPhone video, which if you haven't seen that yet, you should watch it. It'll be linked somewhere. Anyways, this is just an I refuse to sink phone case. I got it off of eBay for like $3, but it is chips like right there, which sucks. 
but it's a really pretty phone case and I mean it was from eBay it was like three dollars so I mean the fact that it broke a little bit the fact that it broke a little bit here doesn't really phase me as far as favorites on my phone go I have been obsessed with Twitter and Vine lately obviously you should follow me on Twitter and you should follow me on Vine they will all be linked below all of my links will be below and I just I love Twitter and Vine. I've also been liking Retrica. It's just a selfie taking. It's like a, a filter camera app. And for music, I don't even know where to start with the music I've been liking. My favorites have been Ain't It Fun, All of Me, you know, songs by Ty Dolla Sign. Paranoid. I've also been liking Iggy. I think she's amazing. I just listened to her new, the new classic album. And no, I haven't listened to her other songs yet, but trust me, I will be because I think her music is brilliant. I'm Fifth Harmony. Oh my goodness. I just listened to their song Better Together. I know I'm really late on this bandwagon, but such a good song. I like the live version a lot better than I like the like regular version. Like. Oh, Luke Bryan and like country music in general I've been getting really into again lately. But a couple songs that I've been liking are Drink a Beer by Luke Bryan, Drunk on You by Luke Bryan, Country Girl Shake It For Me by Luke Bryan, That's My Kind of Night by Luke Bryan, Crash My Party by Luke Bryan. Luke Bryan in general is a favorite because he is... <clears throat> also, I've been liking This Is How We Roll by Florida Georgia Line, which is ironic because on the year trip that's the only thing they played and every time that song would come on I wanted to commit suicide <laughs> I said suicide really weird also a few of my other favorite country songs are I Drive Your Truck by Lee Bryce and Hard to Love by Lee Bryce I like Sugarland, Heartland, Rascal Flats I just love country music, like the actual country music, not that taste with bullshit, no. But yeah, that was my favorite video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. See you all in my next video.